you need your optics to be super rugged. With that in mind, the Crimson Trace HRO, Eric, what does HRO stand for? HRO is our heavy recoil optic. Heavy recoil optic, I love it. An optic designed to put on big stuff. It's a beast. It's designed to absorb anything you can throw at it. Now, what did you guys do to make this optic so durable? Uh, it's made out of aircraft aluminum. It's designed to absorb energy. If it's dropped, the front glass is recessed. So, okay, so it's, it's kind of protected. It's IPX7 waterproof rated. All right, two MOA dot, I was playing with it. How many brightness settings do we have? There's 12 brightness settings that uh, run off of a CR2 battery, externally replaceable, and that'll give you about 50,000 hours runtime. So that's like change it once a millennia, I think, something like that. <laughs> something like that. At least every few years. Now, we've put this on a 12-gauge shotgun, and this is not one that absorbs recoil too well. I think it's gonna be a fun test. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's test it out. The HRO from Crimson Trace. The things I do for these guys. Heavy recoil optic. Well, it's gotta be shot on a heavy recoiling gun. So we picked a 12 gauge pump action with one ounce slugs. Let's talk about three things that I really like. One, the adjustments seem to move really well. They're half MOA adjustments, so at 100 yards, half an inch. The window is big, great for hunting. If you gotta hunt with a single projectile shotgun, it's a big window, you could see the deer, you could see all the woods through it. Third thing is the adjustments for brightness and dimming on and off. They're ambidextrous, so I can use either hand no matter how I'm holding the shotgun, I like that. So I've got it mounted up, I've got a bunch of shells left in here, two and three quarters. Watch how punishing this recoil is. I had to take a knee. Well, that's a bullseye. See if I can do that again without flinching. Whew, there's a little bit of wobble, but it's holding the group. This is not easy. All right, so I got a group. I'm gonna come just a little bit to the left, make a quick adjustment. Could be about an inch and a half. So I've got three three-inch slugs in here now. I'm gonna switch tubes. Whew, let's see what these three-inchers do to this. That's a fire breather. Now, I don't know if those went anywhere near where my two and three quarter slugs went, but I had to get them down range. So my last one's a two and three quarter. I got a steel deer down there at 50 yards. Let's see if I can actually finish the job. exactly where I was aiming. Well, that was a punishing thing for me to do to shoot all this, but the heavy recoil optic is perfect on a gun like this, and it held it zero throughout all of that. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.